A gunsmith fit barrel will have a hood that is too wide and too long. Generally, material needs to be removed from both sides of the hood and the end for it to slide back up against the breech face in this slot and then lock up into place in the slide. The barrel hood width formula, or calculation, is used to determine how much material needs removed from each side of the barrel hood so that it matches the breech face width while keeping the chamber end of the barrel centered in the slide barrel passage. I will be presenting my own version of the hood width formula, one with a variable assigned to each term, even the intermediate ones, hopefully with the included diagrams and explanation, it will be clear. We need to start with some measurements. We will be seeing this diagram throughout the rest of this section. The barrel is red, the slide is dark blue, and we're looking top down with the muzzle towards the top of your screen and the ejection port to the right. First is the breech face width, commonly abbreviated BF. Before you take any measurements, make sure that your tool is zeroed and clean the jaws off and make sure the surfaces that you're gonna be measuring are cleaned off and free of debris as well. The breech face is easy to measure. You can measure it just like this. You can see this one is right at 376. Next is the hood width. I've seen this abbreviated as HW or HD. I'm gonna call it HW. This one is right at 400 thousandths wide. We need to find the control dimension or CD. Put the barrel on the slide, push it all the way back as far as it will go. It'll stop here and not go back up against the breech face because the hood is too wide to go in the slot right now. We're gonna to need to use this tool to center the barrel lugs in the slide. I've also installed my barrel holder just so I don't have to, you know, fight this barrel and hold it in place while I'm trying to take measurements. The control dimension is from this surface of the breech face slot to this surface on the barrel hood. It could be measured by putting the slide on a granite inspection block and using a depth dial, zeroing it here, and then bringing it up and touching here and seeing what that difference is. I do have access to a depth dial, but I don't have it here, and I wanna show how to do it with calipers too. Measure from the right side of the hood to the left side of the slide, just like this. Measure it a few times, make sure you're getting nice square contact on your jaws. I'm gonna call this dimension X and I am getting 685 thousandths. I'm gonna have to remove the barrel for this next measurement. I'm gonna measure from this side of the breech face to this side of the slide. Once again, make sure you're getting nice square contact with your jaws. You can measure this one a few different ways. Um, and make sure that all of the measurements agree. I'm gonna call this dimension Y, and for Y, I'm getting 292 thousandths. X minus Y is our control dimension CD. CD in this case is 0.393. If you were using a depth dial on a granite slab, you could measure CD directly and you wouldn't need to use this equation with X and Y. We have our needed measurements. Let's do a quick check. The CD should be more than BF, and HW should be more than CD. Subtract BF from CD. This is the material that needs removed from the right side or ejection port side of the hood. I will call this R. I get 17 thousandths of an inch. Now subtract R from HW, the hood width, and Think of this like we just machined R off the right side of the hood, and now our hood width is more narrow. So this is a new hood width, and I'm gonna call it HW2. My new hood width, HW2, is 0.383. Now subtract BF from HW2. This is the remaining material that comes off the left side of the hood to match the breech face width. I will call this L, in my case, L is 7 thousandths of an inch. So, 
seven thousandths needs to come off the left side of the hood, and seventeen thousandths needs to come off the right side of the hood. Removing my R and L dimensions from the hood sides will give me a line-to-line -line fit with the breech face. To get the hood to slip back in the breech face slot, another like couple tenths will need to come off each side. I really just want the hood to slide back up against the breech face so I can fit the length at this point. I will establish my uh, clearances on the sides later. I'll be machining the majority of the hood material off, leaving myself about one thou on either side to take off by hand. This means I will machine 16 thou off the right side, not 17, and 6 thou off the left side, not 7. I'll put all the diagrams on the screen for a few seconds if you want to screenshot them. It helps me to print these out and have them on my workbench next to me while I do this along with the data sheet to record everything. Here's the data sheet if you want to capture this as well.